Hotel here in London for the Media Day. The Daniel de Bois versus Bogdan Dini. I'm Adam Castro. Pleasure as always to be in your company. And as you can see, joining me on stage, all of them promoter, uh, Frank Warren, and a man that will be in action on Saturday night in Telford, undefeated through five fights, the one and only TNT himself, Mr. Tommy Fury. And um, this goes down on BT Sport from 7pm on Saturday night, so make sure you come and join us for that. Tommy will be featuring on the undercard, and it's delight, we're all delighted, uh, that he's joining us today for a few questions to tackle the media, uh, and obviously talk about this fantastic trip to Miami. And that's where we're starting, mate, because you've made us all incredibly jealous. Obviously, those that follow you on social media and keep up to date with everything that you're getting up to, it looked like you were having a whale of a time out there with Tyson. Yeah, first of all, good to be here. Um, thanks everyone for coming. Um, and what a pleasure it is to be boxing in such a great car. Um, at the end of the day, Miami was unbelievable. Um, it's always going to be him out there with Tyson. Um, and whatever he does, it's amazing and big and huge. But the real reason I went out there was to gain world class experience. Um, I feel like the sparring I got out there and the overall training I got out there was world class. Um, and I'm so happy to have done that um, and ticked that off. You know, it's been a great experience for me, but I'm happy to be back now. You know, on the car so soon, and um, you know, I think I've only been back like two weeks, and we're already we're already in action. So uh, I'm ready to go and fit and healthy. So uh, let's do it Saturday night. Absolutely, and you you make a good point there. Where going around the world, visiting different gyms, visiting different levels of sparring, are incredibly important for where you're currently at in your professional career through five fights. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's um, it was definitely a great experience because when you walk in the gym, you know, you looked over wherever you were looking. You had the unified world champion there, that super middleweight. You had you had another guy there who's twenty one and one. You know, only lost the world titles. You just around the world class. So, just in your own self, you're always going to evolve around training around that class. You know, um, and that's exactly what I've, I feel like I've done. You know, being around those fighters and those kind of levels have just pushed me up there already let alone sparring and learning different things off them. So, you know, I'm, I'm very happy that I've done that because I knew, you know, when the opportunity came for me to go out there, I took it with both hands because I knew it would benefit me as a fighter and overall experience level would go up. Um, and that's exactly what I've done, but I'm happy to be back now, um, working with Dad, bringing all that over, over there, back in the ring now, and I'm ready to go. It's showtime. And as well as the physical aspect of doing the sparring and what have you, the psychological aspect of spending more time with your brother, who's, up, who's obviously at a totally different stage in his career right now, but being around him, seeing how he operates, seeing the, the mentality of what the heavyweight champion of the world gets up to must be a, a big thing for you as well to be learning on. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's all motivation for me because, you know, if you're dedicating, you know, apply yourself to this game, you know, day in, day out, which, which, I, which I'm doing, you know, I don't box for money, I don't need to box for money. I'm here, no one's holding a gun to my head, you know, saying you've got to box on Saturday night. I do it because I love it. And I do it because I set myself a goal when I was a very young lad and I'm going to see that goal out. And you know, I, I know boxing, it's going to be a long hard road, you know, you're going to get hit harder than anyone else can hit. But I'm ready to get back up again and keep going. And I think that's, that's the main thing here, you know. Dedication has always been a big standpoint for me. Um, because I only had a, you know, select few amateur fights. And I believe dedication and, you know, just that vision and always believing in yourself every day is the main thing here. And that's exactly what you're going to see from me. Um, you know, dedicate my whole life to this. Um, and even being out there looking at Tyson, it's just all motivation because I know if I train hard and do the right things and apply myself, I can be at that level. I know I know I can because I know I've got the skills to do it. It's all about self belief and just keep going. You know, no matter what happens on that road, just keep going, keep getting out of bed out every day and keep getting in the gym. And that's the key, here. that's what you've got to do. Frank, as it as is as Tommy's promoter. That's the impressive thing about him. We see, we're seeing a lot in the world right now where people are playing at the game of boxing. Tommy's got a fantastic profile, gained from and gained incredible commercial success. He doesn't need to be here from a financial point of view, but to be promoting a gentleman like this, who is dedicated to craft, must be incredibly exciting from your point of view. Well, it is. It's funny to say that you know, Martin Bears, you know, the, um, he always says, you play sport, you can't play boxing. And it's a fact of a matter. And uh, what I like about uh, Tommy, everything he says is absolutely brilliant. And it's dedicated. And if you haven't got dedication in this sport, you're going to get nowhere. You can get by on talent up to a certain point. And after that, you have to, the hard work, the graft has to go in. You don't put it in, it doesn't hatch. And he's, he, you know, as you say, he's got bundles of that. But, and I don't mean this, I mean, don't mean this disrespectful, he's still a novice. Yeah, five, five fights. And when, when did you have your last amateur fight? A couple of years before that. I think it was last amateur fight was I think it was about sixteen. 
there you go. So, you know, that's a long time ago. So he's got to learn his craft and his profession, and he's doing it in, in, in the right way and the proper way. And provided he keeps doing what he's doing. And, and for me, he's not put a foot, foot wrong yet. Yeah, I mean, he's done everything spot on. Keeps moving forward the way he's going to get himself into a good position. But he's got, to, he's got to have all these learning fights to start with. And that's our job. So he's not going to be rushed. His dad's not going to be rushed. Rush anyway, I'm not going to have an argument with him. So it's a, you know, it's a situation where, where you know, we've all got his best interests at heart. We've got to, we need to fight anyone. He's a fighting man, we fight anyone, we don't care what it is. But our job is to temper that, and my job is to temper that, and my job is to ensure that you know, we make the right moves at the right time. But what I, what I really, really do like about Tom is, is, is his attitude. He's got a fantastic attitude for a professional. Now, I'm just going to take this off piece for a second because he's a serious boxer, he's doing his thing, but as a promoter, when a young man who was making his money off YouTube mentioned this man's name, your eyes must light up. Who's that? You. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, you know, um, the YouTube guy, who was that, Jake? Jake Paul. Paul. I appreciate all what, what, you know, what he's done. I mean, you know, for a guy who's like he's had any amateur experience or whatever, and he's got all these followers, that's what happens in this day and age, and he's obviously monetized that through boxing. And good luck to him, God bless him, and it's terrific. But if he wants to fight Tommy, that fight's there every day of the week for him. And, the, and, I, and I haven't got a lot of time for the YouTube stuff, to be quite honest, because I look at, you know, the business we're in, I look at, and, and I know they're quite serious, they put their heart into it, but I'm on that level. Mm -hmm. And the level that I see, you know, even uh, Tommy at now um, is a level above. But if he wants that fight, he's not even, it's not even pushing an open door. We've not, we took the door off the hinges, just walk in and we're done. It. It's a no brainer. Um, and it will be, a, you know, I think as far as you know, the general public, not the boxing public, the general public will buy into it big time and they'll watch it. We'll all watch it, won't we? I'll, I hope I'll watch it and I want to be there. And then we see what you know what happens. But it's uh, it's, it's, it's an exciting situation. That the reason they talk about Tommy is because he's obviously got a big following, but he built himself a big following up through his, his appearance on, on the reality show. And uh, he's obviously he's also Tyson's brother, so he brings a lot to the table himself. And uh, if he's a bit bad looking, he could even be better. <laughs> but it is what it is, and I think he just. You know, we, as I say, for us, we just, if that happens, brilliant. We're there in a heartbeat. I'll carry him there, I'll bring him there if, if that's needed to be. But in the meantime, we've just got to focus on fighting and not just think, think or wait for that. We've just got to keep being busy, get in the ring, be, continue his education. And the other thing, if, if Jake Paul comes along, grab it in a heartbeat. So, I mean, how, how do you look at it? The being called out by a guy like YouTube. I don't want to be disrespectful towards Jeff. Well, he's doing, he's doing his thing. But are we getting to a point where it, it might get dangerous? Where a lad who is doing what he's doing and earning money in the game of boxing takes on a proper fighter? I mean, if he gets in there with me, it's going to be dangerous for him then. But, you know, keep fighting these clowns that he's always fighting. It's not going to be dangerous for him because, you know, he's a very cunning man. You know, he's earned a lot of money in his career. He's a very smart man. And, you know, I've heard a lot of talk about this, this guy that's fighting this Tyrone Woodley, you know, he's like five times UFC champion, but what everyone's got to understand is, if there was any point of Tyrone Woodley beating Jake Paul in this next fight, that contract would have got signed. Because why would Jake Paul put himself in a situation where he's going to get knocked back out and not even have a foothold in, in, in the fight? It, it isn't going to happen, you know. What all you're going to see is another Jake Paul victory. You know, somewhere down that contract of summer, you're going to see Jake Paul double you. You know, because that's what he is. He's not going to fight anybody who can put a test up because he doesn't need to. You know, he's making a fortune off YouTube. He's doing his boxing things. He, make, he can make a bit more money. So why is he going to get his teeth knocked in for nothing? You know, he's not a stupid man. So where, whatever, you know, he does in his career, he can almost guarantee that he wins at the end of it because he's, he's the sole thinker. You grab these MMA guys who used to fight him for, you know, three, four hundred grand. And you say, oh, come here, mate. I'll pay you five, six million, which is nothing to him. They're going to take it all day long because they're going to they fought all the career for four or five hundred grand, and they're going to fight a YouTuber for three million or four million. You know, it, it's going to happen every day of the week, isn't it? So I don't really pay too much attention on that. Jake Paul is what he is, you know. Like Frank said, if the fight comes, it comes, and I'll take it with both hands because it's easy money. You know, people ask me why are you get involved with him. You know, why is Floyd Mayweather one of the best to ever do it? Fighting his brother Logan. It's easy money. You know, 
Well, at the end of the day, I'm not going to focus myself on Jake Paul. You know, I've got my own career, I've got my own path to take, and my own journey to follow. But if he comes into that somewhere, somewhere along the line, of course I'm going to take that. I'll butcher him for nothing. For nothing. You know, he's an easy fight to make. Um, but calling my name, calling my name, is a wrong move for him. Um, so whenever that fight happens, it happens. But until then, it doesn't even come into my mind. Saturday night is where my mind's on. Um, I've got a job to do, and that's exactly what I want to do. He, he's on the. Uh... He signed a deal now with Showtime. So, you know, you never know, that might make it easier. It's to be done. It's done. Regarding your development, obviously that continues on Saturday evening. Incredibly impressive three five fights. Four of those coming by a stoppage. I know you're working very hard uh, with your dad up in uh, the northwest. Talk to me about the things that you want to show us on Saturday night. I just want to show you what I've been, you know, working on. That's the main thing here. I just want to show improvement. In every fight that I have, all I want to show is improvement. And that's exactly what you're going to see because you know, a few of the guys from BT, BT that came down to us to train on Monday, I don't believe like there's anybody in this country that trains like we do. And there's, there's, many, there's many here who can back that up. You know, I put my heart and soul into this. I give 110% every single day. Um, and that's why I feel I can get the rewards out of it. You know, because nobody wants this more than me. And as long as I'm showing improvement in every fight, I don't care what happens. You know, as long as I come out with a W and I'm showing a little bit of something that I didn't show in the last fight, even if I'm showing, 0.01% of improvement. I'm happy with that because you know why I'm learning, and that's the stage of my career where I'm at now. It's all about learning. It's not about rushing for titles, rushing for this, rushing for that. It's not about that. It's about learning the job and we trade properly. So when we get them big fights, we take them and we win, we move forward. We just, we just don't want to take these big fights and lose and you know go off doing back some Instagram work. We're ready to go to the top. I expect, and I am as well. And that's what we're about. You know, Tyson showed it can be done. I'm going to dedicate myself for the next 10, however long it takes to get there. Well, I know I'll get there because I've got a burning desire for it and I'm not going to let anything stand in my way. Uh, and that's just where I'm at now mentally. And that's the impressive thing about it. Because so many in this situation will probably get carried away and think, right, I want this now, I want that now. He yeah, understands yeah. this game because of the people that are around him. You know, he's intelligent, he's very, very intelligent boxer, you know, he's got a great boxing brain and, you know, obviously. Runs, runs in the family, and as far as uh, Tom is concerned, it's like he listens to everybody that's around him, which is good, and just keep, keep getting educated. That's all it's all about, learn, learn, learn. Because all, all, all that experience you get when you get into the big fight, when you get to the big time, is in the main. You know, you've learned much of it thrown in the deep end, and uh, that's that, that standard of wisdom. I think when the time's right, it, it, you know, the attitude he's got, and the dedication and commitment, no doubt in my mind, we have gone to do some really big things. Final one, Tommy. Fans back in attendance, starting to grow the, uh, the capacities now. You must be looking forward to working on the show in front of the people in tell from this weekend. Yeah, it's unbelievable. You know, I'm so happy to be back boxing in front of a crowd uh, and just for everyone who bought a ticket. You know, we appreciate it as fighters because without, you know, the fans boxing in there until I can tell you right now from experience, it's not the best thing. So uh, even if it's, you know, five people in that hall, it's going to make a difference, and uh, I'm sure they're going to make a good atmosphere for us to put a show in front of. Uh, again, God bless everybody in the show, wish everybody luck, um, and I'm just so happy to be boxing. Uh, thanks to everyone involved, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a good show on Saturday. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it indeed. 7pm uh, Saturday night on BT Sport. Make sure you come and join us if you can't be in attendance in Telford. Obviously, the main event is Daniel Dubois taking on Bob Nandini, but this man, TNT, back involved uh, on a big Frank Warren card this weekend on BT Sport. Pictures on the floor. Yeah, <laughs>